Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chess and you find me as Cruelty Free Makeup Heaven here on YouTube and on Instagram. And all my other socials are linked in the description box. Any other info, info about the products or what I'm about to be reviewing today is all in the description box as well. I'm already a little bit closer because I'm gonna be quite close up this video because I am gonna be testing just for Kira lenses. This is the first time I test their lenses so I have no idea what to expect. Their company seems like a decent one so I decided to give it a go. A little note, if you really want some tips on how to treat lenses, how to put them in and everything, I do have a playlist with all these kind of videos about colored lenses and how I like to put them in and everything. I think my first video or I think my first one, but possibly the second one, but I think the first one in that list is one where I really share a lot of tips. It's also, that's why it's also a longer one. Check out that video. If you have any more questions, you can always contact me and I'm thinking about maybe doing an updated video on that. If colored lenses seem cool to you, if you want to see how these look or you're just like very interested for yourself, I hope this video is useful to you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, <laughs> these were supposed to be like these loose curls. I'm very bad at styling my hair and it, it like I made it work, but now it's like 15 minutes later and it's, it's more wavy than anything. Like it's not really curl anymore. <laughs> if anybody has any tips on how to curl your hair and like make it last longer, please help. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the lenses are the most important thing in this video, of course, so let's open it up. But first I'm going to tell you all what I already have on my face, just so you have an idea. Um, I think that's interesting since I am, after all, a makeup channel in the first place. First of all, I use these by Kelsha Face Elixir, so we have a 24K one. And then this Day and Night White Gold Elixir as well. Then I primed my favorite primer, the W7 Perfection Primer, which is so good at like closing off pores. And for foundation, I use this Stay Naked Foundation. Well, I don't want to blind you all <laughs> by Urban Decay. This is in 20 NN and it's quite light for me, which is why, as usual, I darken it up with like with just one little squeeze of this makeup darkening drops by Catrice. I contoured a bit with this Anastasia Beverly Hill Shadow Stick. Then I also contoured a little bit more while I only use it on the outside of my face, not over every contour I did with this. As a bronzer, I use this Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze, I think it's called. And I think it's just like one shade. As a blush, I use this Kiko Lost in Amalfi blush in First Sunrise and it's just a really beautiful subtle blush with like a glow from within. For that beautiful glow on top I use my fave. This is from Makeup Revolution and it's called the Renaissance Glow. So yeah that is a glow that I'm wearing today. I powdered down my face with the RMS Beauty um, Unpowder and this is just like the original one which is a white one. It isn't the best because it has some flashback if you would like take pictures with flash. Then on the eyes I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rivera palette. I used some estate all over my crease very softly with a big fluffy brush. I added a little bit of seaside like right underneath the inner corner. I followed that up with this beautiful golden yacht shade. I also deepened up a little bit underneath my lower lash line with coastline which is also a coral that I really love. It's very, these are very wearable shades. I'm going to review this one more. I only have my first impressions up of this. Then I applied this mascara, the Glamadol mascara by Catrice. I don't need to say anything more. If you watch my videos, you know that I love, 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 love this. When it comes to lashes though, I just use one of these. I did this because I cut it in half because I don't want to have an inner corner that can lift right now. If you are like me and you have more sensitive eyes, definitely if you're gonna sw be switching up your lenses, you don't want anything that can be able to lift in your inner corner. Um, even if you have like a good lash glue, even with my dual lash glue this happens, which is the best I ever tried. Today I use the Maria Malki Magic liner. I chose a clear version of this liner because I don't always want to wear a wing. Like today I just used the lashes that I showed you from Ardell, the Wispies in 602 black. And I applied some of this Max & More uh, makeup pencil in mineral blue, yes, in a waterline. It will probably disappear pretty quickly because these aren't like that long lasting. On the lips I've used these two. So this is an Essence Soft and Precise lip liner and this is in the color Legendary. I recently picked this up because I also got the This Is Me lipstick in Legendary and I love that color a lot. So I put that all over my lips almost and just leaving like a hole in the middle and went over it with this unlimited double touch uh, lippy. So you have two sides, a gloss and a 
liquid lip. It's like a very light layer and it stays so well. If you wear it on, it on its own, you can do that perfectly, but if you're going to brush your lips together, they're gonna stick to together so i would definitely suggest if you're picking this up for just like the the matte side then i would um, go for one of their other options they also have just liquid lipsticks without the gloss but yeah this combination this lasts so well if you're definitely someone who loves gloss or who wants their glossy lip look to last also underneath a mask i would highly recommend these so yeah, now that's all cleared up. I'm going to try these lenses on my eyeballs and yeah, let's just let's just see what's in here. Okay, so I just opened this up and I really like how sleek it is, black with the golden letters. I feel like packaging does a lot even when you're like ordering lenses. And then here you have a whole carton of how to put in the contact lenses. On the sleeve, they also say that you have a chance to win free products from them. So they select customers that buy from them and they select lucky few ones every month and send them some free styles, which I think is super cute. Um, you do have to take a photo and tag them just for Kira on social media and then use the hashtag, hashtag just for Kira. So if you ever buy from them, um, just know that this is an option. If you're maybe looking at my video, if you're like interested in a new style, this is this is your sign to maybe post your pictures with their lenses Ooh, and i like that the lens containers are like see-through and it looks like very sleek like that actually it's also stuck really stuck in there so it won't be able to fall out it's just like it's one whole compartment which i never seen before pretty cool i only got two pairs from them sometimes brands sent me four pairs to try sometimes they sent me two so i'm just happy that they trust me enough to review these for you all so this is niala green these have a darker uh, lumbar ring around them and then a lighter in the middle so normally this is gonna be like a quite wearable almost olivey green color on my eyes so they don't provide a little mirror, but I have like one from the body shop that's quite old and cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using that because it's just easier to have a small handheld mirror when you're doing this, when, when you're applying the lenses. All right, let's see how easy to apply these are. So Okay, the solution is a little bit stingy in my eye, this one. Normally I don't really have that problem with the ones from uh, the third eye. There's kind of like a drawing in there after all because I thought it was just gonna be... I thought it was gonna be without drawings, but I really like it. My eye is quite stingy right now though, so... I think I'm gonna get my own lens fluid and like drench it in there first. Okay, so normally this isn't that big of an issue for me, but I just have a little bit more sensitive eyes. So I have this eyewear multi clean plus all in one with hyaluronan, hyaluronan in there. So I would definitely say if you are trying lens for the first time, definitely get like, you can also get like small sizes, just get a lens solution that is like softer for the eyes than just a normal saline solution that they come in. Let me apply this again. I'm also using this tool just to ensure that nothing on my finger gets in my my eye. I think this is a cool color but I definitely don't think that it would fool me. If I would see someone's eyes like this I would definitely be able to tell that they're wearing lenses but if you're just wearing this for the purpose of like for example doing a makeup look like I would or a cosplay or just for fun and you don't even mind that people are able to tell us not your real eye color then I would say yeah. But I do feel like the contrast between the lumbar ring around the iris and um, the lighter shade on the inside is very harsh. So if they would find a way to make that a little bit softer, it would at least look way more uh, natural. Then again, from further away, I feel like it looks way better. But it definitely, like I said, it, it, it couldn't, it wouldn't be able to fool anyone to thinking that this is your real eye color. But the color is pretty. So let me put in the other one. Oh, there's a lot of fluid on here. If there's a lot of fluid on your lens, it will also come out of your eye when you just place it in there. And if you already have makeup on, that is not the best idea. So I now made sure that there is not too much fluid on there. 
Um, the pupil holes are smaller than some others I've tried lately, which is a thing that makes it look more natural. If you, for example, like me, have quite a lot of light coming at you. So that is a thing that I do like, and that is why I think that I will definitely enjoy these for makeup looks. I do feel like this one, I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> I feel like this one moves along with my eye every time I blink and since the pupil hole is quite small I do notice that every time like there's like this lighter cast going over my vision every time um, which isn't the best. I think it's again the case of the one bit smaller eye. <laughs> so these are a bit bigger than my actual eye color I think. The dark edge is around my own iris so they're bigger than my own eye color um, which is nice but when you have smaller eyes and I have a bit of a smaller eye on this side then it can be a little bit of an issue because Every time you blink, it moves with your eyelids a little bit too much. Well, this one follows my eyes well. It's just when I blink that it tends to move up or down. Let me bring you a little bit closer. I do have to say, I feel like these mix um, quite okay-ish with my eye color a bit more. I have dark brown eyes, but in a lot of light, they're more hazel. Well, not hazel, but amber, more ambery brown they look a little bit lighter and this mixes well with for example a warm tone um green like this i'm a little bit underwhelmed by the fact that they're not super natural i really do love the color of them and i think i'm gonna have a lot of fun with these like in a to do makeup looks with because this is like the kind of green that fits with a lot of things definitely for a person like me i'm already used to having quite warm tone eyes so the fact that this is more like a warm toned um, khaki, olivey, I don't know if this is, I think this is more khaki, right? Olivey is like a, a tad bit more greenish. So um, yeah, I do feel like this will fit with a lot of looks that I love to do and I will have a lot of fun with it. Definitely let me know what you think of this style. So now these are all closed off. Next ones. So on the last ones, it did say just for Kira and on these ones, it says abby cons i don't have like that much knowledge about these types of contact lenses but it will come <laughs> i haven't seen the brand abby cons before though well okay this looks really really light but i do have the queen gray lenses from um, the third eye so i'm guessing that these are gonna have kind of the same effect but these have more drawings in them so like little lines, you will see. So I just put it in like the normal lens fluid and I'm just gonna let it like sit a little bit and I'm gonna apply it into my eyes. Okay, I got it here. Again, on the little tool and this is a moment of truth. I actually like them more in real life than I thought on beforehand because on some pictures, the lines looked very artificial. Up close, I have to say like it does look artificial, but um, from a bit further away, it actually looks really good. I like the style more than I thought, so definitely gonna be on the lookout for the other colors of this uh, Vision line. Sculpt Vision Gray, I know you also have like a blue one and I think a brown one, but it's like um, lightens up your darker brown eyes. Pretty cool, let's put in the other one. I really like grays i don't know why i think it's because i like blue eyes so much on other people but i don't really like the blue blue look on myself and gray is the closest i can come to cool toned color on me that i do like um, as well as like more cool toned green i also like that I feel for people with warm toned eyes gray is so cool so yeah let me zoom you in so you can see more of the details I think these lenses are very cool, very out there of course, but still I like the pattern in them um, and definitely just like the other one, they will fool no one. Even if you get it like in a slightly darker color, 
I don't think they will fool anyone. They are made with very, very tiny dots. The more contrast there is between your eye color and the color on top, the more obvious that it will be from up close. The more natural you want it to be, the, the least you want to like deviate from your own color, your own eye color. That's why I do like showing these up close because then you get like also an idea of how you will see it yourself in the mirror because looking from far away, there's always um, a lot of detail that goes lost. And this is how other people will see you if they're like not all up in your face, but you yourself will see it more up close like this. I think this is a cute style. And as I said, I think the drawings on them, the lines, they are way more doable. Um, I thought they were gonna be, I was doubting they were gonna be too hard or not. This is why I actually chose some styles that I normally, like if I would pay for it, I wouldn't have chosen this. So that is also why I like doing these videos because I choose things that are also out of my comfort zone a little bit and it's fun. <laughs> so yeah guys, that was it. That was me reviewing the two pairs of lenses I got from just for Kira. I will also share with you a code where you can get percentage off of your purchases if you decide to purchase from them. I do feel like they do have very nice styles. I hope that this video maybe help you to make like a decision or to give you some insight into the quality of their lenses. I do feel like once I used my own solution for the lenses that it wasn't like the first one was kind of stingy so I would definitely recommend doing that. Other than that I don't have any complaints at all. So yeah definitely let me know which style was your favorite. I think, um, yeah, I think I'm actually most positively surprised by these ones. While the Niala green ones, they are super pretty, but they kind of, they are, are a little bit less natural than I would love to. While this drawing, like, yeah, it surprised me in a positive way. So I think that's why I like these the most at the, at the moment. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great week and I hope you will also have a great Easter weekend. Um, I think in these times of um, the pandemic and the lockdowns and the rules and everything, the best thing we can do is just make the most of it and remember that this is temporary even if it's not ending right now it will end just keep on believing that keep on doing your best be kind to everyone help people around you if anybody is struggling keep your eyes open sometimes you have to push a little bit of help on them as well because it's hard sometimes to ask for help but be there for the ones that you care about be there when you can it's always necessary to be a bit selfish but in these hard times, I just want to ask you all to be extra kind to each other and extra helpful while also taking the best care of yourself. Thank you so much for everybody who is joining my YouTube family lately. I see you all. I love all the comments. Much, much love to you all. You really brighten up my life. That's coming from my heart. I will see you hopefully all on the flip side. Bye.